Alright guys, welcome back to another exciting battle with Commander Corley and the Riotech Corporation. Today we're going to take a look at the Domination Battle Type on the Bottleneck map. This game is a level 10 versus a level 9. Myself against Eagly. We're going to start out fast and hard here. Getting our construction set up. We're going to put our barracks right there in front of it. Pop up the power supply. Go ahead and get infantry producing so we can do some scouting. Supply centers are going up. We're going to get about five uh, riflemen out there. I'm sorry. Assaults out there. Them out in here. Now I'm going to pop a infantry scouting bonus. Make sure I get everything I can get off this map before my enemy does. Here's our first container. Gonna grab that one. Then this guy south, there's our second one. Make sure we get that one. And then we're gonna go up to level two HQ. Now we've got a third assault out. There's another one. Gonna go ahead and grab it. This assault is gonna go all the way across the screen here. Got our assault vehicle factory up and running. Popped another infantry scout bonus. Gonna send those two right, uh, assaults up to the flag. Gonna go to level two assault vehicle factory. Start producing some hammers. We've got a couple more containers here. Let this guy get through before I could get that one. And I made sure I got it before he could. This guy's headed up there to the flag. And then I realized, oh crap, I need to go get the container. Trying to rob him of all his all the containers I can. Right now we're producing some more infantry, just in case he decides to come over to the base. That coyote that I saw. See the coyote there. Decided to run over and grab this container real quick, because I know I, my assault will not be able to take out that, that coyote. Another container here. I'm going to send him south. Do some more scouting. We got these two coming to the flag. Looks like he captured the flag first, which is fine. It is no big deal that he got the flag first. All right, so here comes the infantry to the flag. Oh look, there's that coyote. Oh no, he's got a second coyote over there now. I know there's no way I'm gonna get the flag from him at this point. Three coyotes at the flag, okay. At this point I start producing hammers. Now I've gotta get them out there. We've got some more infantry sitting there. Pop an advanced supply so I can get some more supplies up. I've already got my aviation factory up. Going to level 3 HQ as well at this point. 
And I'm gonna move the six assaults. Move them out. Here comes the first hammer. Come send him down here with the assaults. And they're going to guard this position for just a few minutes. Alright, we're up to level 3. Going to go ahead and pop out that pad. We all know what I'm going for here. Going to get them vertexes up. Pop another advanced supply so I can start producing the vertexes. Got some more hammers popped out here. Six assaults, two hammers guarding that lower section there. Gonna move them out to the base, looks like. No, he's gonna stop. Ain't moving to the base just yet. Not a lot of action going on. He's not trying to attack me or anything. Just waiting for that aviation factory to go up to level 2 so I can produce the vertexes. Now I'm sending them up there to the flag. Three hammer, six assaults. See what we can get. See if we can take this flag back. All right. At this point, he's already got hawks and uh, he's already got the helicopters in the air. So I use my assaults to take them out and use the hammers to take out the coyotes. However, he's got a bunch of coyotes over there. He's still got them suckers coming in. But. I've got my first vertex in the air. So I'm going to use him to start taking out some of these guys. Enemy destroyed. Second one's up. Second one's on his way for support. Third one's on its way. At this point, he's almost halfway across that bar with that capture. So I know I've got to get some over there to take it back. At this point, I've got one assault to head over there. I've got more coming out. Here comes the third vertex. At this moment, I know what he's got over there. I know he's probably got more on the way. 
But I go ahead and send another vertex over. Let him cross over it so I know what's there. Then take go for the helicopter. There comes a second helicopter, which he's not going to keep in the air very long. I've got my second vertex on the way. Third vertex is here. And the capture zone is now empty. That assault can go capture it now. I'm going to keep the vertex that's patrolling the area just in case. And yeah, like I said, here comes another helicopter. Job well done. And he's out of the sky before my assault even gets there. Alright. All the vertexes are now back at base. I've got more assaults on the way to strengthen the force at the flag. Flag is now ours. More salts moving that way. All right, there comes my vertexes. We're gonna go check out Buddy's base. Got a couple guys headed that way. Alright, and just in case he had some anti-air, I went the long way around. And I'm going to start with his power. Alright, all three vertexes were over there. Looks like he's throwing up a anti-air. Which I could not destroy on that one pass. All right. Now we're watching the flag. He did take out my one assault that was sitting over there. And he's going to try and take the flag back. Sending my vertex to support. Enemy Gonna pop a supply there. Trying to keep him off the base even though he's not going to. He's gonna get the base back. All right, I've got all four vertexes starting to produce the fourth one here still trying to get him get that flag back though here comes the vertex to support the flag again are down. Got one vertex watching over the flag. Alright, got some hammers headed up that way. One, two, and a third one right there. Got a fourth one coming out of the factory. All right, went ahead and collected that container out there. Going for that flag. Looks like he still doesn't have anything over there yet. So, 
I'm gonna sit right there and guard it. Yeah, got some assault sitting up in my base at the moment. The flag is now back ours. I'm gonna send them out. Gonna go ahead and produce a couple um, fortresses as well. I'm gonna send all four vertexes over to the base, his base. I'm gonna knock out that anti air first. Then I'm gonna start working on his power again. All right, one down. He has no power at his aviation factory. Now he has no power, period. All four coming home. We got these assaults going up to the flag. Two hammers on the flag now. Got a fortress headed up that way as well. Make that two. Got more assaults coming out of the barracks. I'm gonna send them to the flag. And there comes a cyclone. I'm gonna get a couple cyclones out there. Trying to uh, trying to go for contract here, because I basically know I've got got it at this point because of what I saw at his base. Alright, 17 minutes into the battle and I have control over the flag. Hello little coyote. Target kill. Goodbye little coyote. point I'm just letting that flag tick up. He's still sending in troops. There goes another vertex flight. And he has not tried to rebuild his his power. I don't know uh, if at this point he went inactive or what. Obviously he didn't because there goes a power station right there. Did however take out everything but his barracks. Alright, Cyclones are taking care of business. Got a nice little army sitting here at the flag. At this point I was out of power for some reason. And I needed to build another power station. I think I was building another supply or something down here. Still got a battle going on over at the flag though, he's still sending units my way. Job well done. At this point I'm going to move my cyclone unit over to this corner. Well done. He's 
still coming. One at a time. Not the best strategy in the world. <laughs> but this one cyclone over here. The one after a Grenadier. Grenadier deer. He did get him. I got cyclones up here patrolling that corner. Looks like one did get through the cyclone. That's okay. I'll take him out real quick. At this point, he gave up. He literally destroyed his own base. Alright, guys. Well, this has been another wonderful battle from the Riotech Corporation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a wonderful battle. Although he didn't put up much of a fight there after I took over the flag. I don't like it when they surrender. But when they surrender, what can you do? So, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you tune in for the next one. This is Commander Coral. I don't know. Hey guys, I want to uh, go ahead and throw this out there. Uh, I want to appreciate you for watching my videos, and at the same time, I want to get the word out for uh, Swifty Saloon, my buddy. Uh, he started up his own uh, business, and he's making these wonderful looking figures and uh, wonderful looking blocks for Dungeons and Dragons, I believe. Um, many different creatures, many different out of ground top areas. You got your dice. Um, all kinds of little odds and ends. You need to check him out. Swifty Saloon on Facebook. And uh, hit him up and tell him that I sent you there. He might even throw you a discount. Again, thanks for watching, and as always, this is Jonathan with the Riotic Corporation. Until next time.